M Toys, Tom Holland, back to school season action figure, $129. Now, the only thing is here, this is a bit creepy for me because this is not a Spider-Man doll. This is just me. This means that someone has just got a doll of me in their house and I don't like it. Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, Tom Holland here. I'm about to do GQ's shopping spree. Let's go. We're going on a trip on our favorite rocket ship. Okay, so the first category is snacks. So let's do this. Okay, the first one is, is Auntie's Spotted Dicks. Now that is a bit of me. Put it in the microwave, bit of custard maybe if you're feeling saucy. I love Spotted Dick. And the fact that it's your auntie's makes it feel homemade. I like that, I'd buy that. Our next one is Cricket Bites. Five pack of assorted flavored edible insects. Like actual insects. I've actually eaten insects before in Thailand and they were delicious and they're full of protein. Yeah, look, six grams of protein. I would buy those. I would absolutely eat those. They're full of amino acids, great for building muscle. Yeah, I'd go for the cricket bites. I wouldn't go for cheesy ranch though. Buffalo wing sauce, yeah, spicy cayenne peppers, but definitely not cheesy insects. Moving on. How do I say that? Mukvidis. McVitie's Milk Chocolate Hobnobs. I'm not really a biscuit kind of guy. It says here, suitable for vegetarians. What kind of biscuit isn't suitable for vegetarians? Has anyone in here heard of a meat biscuit? No? I don't think they need to advertise it like that. I think that's pretty clear that it's vegetarian. I'm gonna go for a no on the milk chocolate hobnobs. St. Eric's Crisps, $60. Designed to accompany St. Eric's Premium Beer. I like that. Chips are cooked using some of the most- That seems like they're doing a little bit too much work for a crisp. They do look nice though. They come in lovely packaging, but imagine if you went to someone's house and you gave them this beautiful box as a gift. They'd be really excited. Oh wow, St. Eric's, what's that? A watch maybe? Nice set of cutlery? Could be anything. No, it's actually just five crisps. You'd be really disappointed. I'd be furious actually. If someone showed up to my house and gave me this as a gift, I'd ask them to leave. But also St. Eric's, I would love to try your crisps. So if you feel like sending me some, that would be great. I've just found out I'm only allowed to pick one. Okay, there's a budget to this game, but because the snacks are so cheap, I'm gonna break the rules and I'm gonna take Spotted Dick is coming home with me. The crickets, I'm gonna try them. No hobnobs. And I think I'm gonna to have to try these St. Eric's crisps. I'm just gonna to have to try them. The next one, sports tickets. We're gonna have a look at some sporting events. The 2022 Super Bowl starting at $50,000. Is that how much it costs to go to the Super Bowl? $50,000. I don't really know that much about American football. I don't know the rules. So I think that ticket would be wasted on me. 2022 Masters, Saturday to Sunday. $6,399. Now I would love to go, but the thing is, is I've already been. And the time that I went was in the height of COVID. So it was empty. So you could walk around the course. We got to see all the players play. So if I was to go again, it would never be as good as the first time I went. So I think I've done the Masters now. I don't think I'll ever go again. 2022 Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest. Oh, it's for free. Listen, there are starving kids in the world, so you couldn't pay me to go to this contest. So that is a big no from me, wasting food. 2022 Champions League Final. Take my money, I'm going. That's where I'll be. $5,356.88. Could get a few tickets. Does it come with a few tickets or am I just going by myself? Yeah, I could buy two tickets. I'll take my brother Harry, I'll get another ticket for Sam. GQ's paying for this, remember, so it doesn't really matter. Right, GQ? <laughs> Who would you want to see play in the Champions League final if you could pick two teams? I'd want to see Tottenham play Brentford. Because <laughs> Tottenham's my team and Brentford is my uncle's team and we would, well, probably right now we wouldn't beat Brentford, but I fancy our chances. Sports tickets summary. It's gonna have to be the Champions League final. That's it, that's all I can afford right now. I can't bring everyone. That's where I'll be going. Working out is a big part of my life. Admittedly, I haven't been working out at all. Let's get into some workout gear. Here we go. The Normatec Recovery Compression Pants. $1,549. Yeah, I could see myself 
using one of those. You know, when I'm doing the Spider-Man films, I do get really tired and my legs do really hurt. So it's definitely on the maybe, on the maybe list. The Theragun Pro 599. I've already got one, but it's not a Theragun. It's a different one. I like it, but maybe the Theragun's better. Who knows? This one has a little screen on it, it looks like, so it can tell you how hard it's punching you. The Agata rower, $2,199. Now, rowing machine is an excellent way of getting cardio in. It works the whole upper body, it works your legs, it works your calves. I think it's an excellent piece of kit, so I'm gonna put that on the maybe list. I like that a lot. And it also looks very nice, it's quite tasteful. It has the water in it, not the fan, so I'm sure you get the nice sort of sloshing water sound as you're doing it, which makes you feel like you're rowing. That looks mustard, and it's got a screen on it. So maybe a Peloton style rowing machine is my next purchase. We will see. Kangaroo jumping shoes, $249. Reduces impact on joints and muscles by up to 80%. Yeah, but in the 80% that you save in your joints and muscle fibers, you lose because you look like an absolute donut running around in these stupid shoes. I'm gonna have to say the kangaroo shoes are not for me. So as far as gym equipment goes, the summary, I'm going to go for the rowing machine because I think that'd be great. I'd use it a lot and uh, I think I'd have a lot of fun doing it too. That is added to cart. Okay, action figures. Nice. ML Legends Avenger Iron Spider Spidey Tom Holland 6. Loose action figure. It doesn't look like me very much, but I can appreciate some attention to detail with the suit. We'll put that on the maybe list. Marvel Legends Avengers Gameverse Spider-Man Tom Holland Far From Home figure. See, that's weird that they put my face on the Spider-Man from the game because I'm not in the game. That's a strange little multiverse thing going on there. I like that, it's cool. M-Toys Tom Holland Back to School Season Action Figure, $129. Now, the only thing is here, this is a bit creepy for me because this is not a Spider-Man doll. This is just me. This means that someone has just got a doll of me in their house and I don't like it. it. Creeps me out that it comes with a whole selection of different hands. And sometimes I get jealous that the doll's better looking than I am. That's when you're all supposed to say, no, Tom, you're way better looking than the doll. <laughs> Funko Pops, I love Funko Pops. 43 bucks, worth every penny. I think they're really cool. I've actually collected all of my Funko Pops. I kept them in my house for a long time, but then it kind of got to the point where it looked like I had a shrine for myself and I had to get rid of them because it was quite embarrassing. So they're in a cupboard, but I love them and uh, keep making them. I think they're brilliant. So in summary, I'm gonna go for the Funko Pop because I think they're cute and I like them. We're going on a trip on our favorite rocket ship. Let's do this. Christmas, Japanese snowboarding, ski in, ski out, $51,043. Why do they bother with the $43? What is the $43 getting you extra? Is it an extra glass of champagne upon arrival? It's unnecessary. But that said, I've heard that skiing, or I snowboard, in Japan is one of the best places in the world to do it. They have the best snow. I would love to go, I love Japan, I love Japanese culture. I'm always looking for a reason to go back. So this is probably gonna be very high on my list. A yacht festival in Croatia, $3,048 per person. Seven nights, a 45 foot catamaran, ultra festival and 10 people. I'm not sure about that one. I guess you could leave at any time. If you're having a bad time, you could just get your boat and go and leave. But that to me just seems like one of my friends is gonna drown. I'm not a huge fan of that. That's definitely on the no list. A five night Western Caribbean cruise from Miami with Marvel Day at sea. $5,997.34. Again, why 34 cents for two people? Going on a cruise is my worst nightmare. I've been on one, I had a really good time. But now that my life has changed, I don't think being on a boat where you can't get off is a good idea. Okay, so trips away. Unfortunately, it's gonna have to be the most expensive one. So maybe in the year of 2022, I'm gonna go on holiday once, just really splurge for once, you know, and really enjoy myself. But I'm gonna go to Japan, I can't wait. I'm really excited. Thanks, GQ, I can't wait. Who are you taking to Japan with you, theoretically, trip for two? Who am I taking to Japan with me? Uh, that's none of your business. Moving on. 
<laughs> We're now gonna look at homes. So here we go, homes. The first one is Saint-Tropez Modern Estate. 98,573,582 dollars. So it's cheap. 12 bed, 12 bath. 4.6 acre, three villas, three black marble swimming pools. That's not a small house, mate. That's, that's, this is a big old house. It sounds wonderful. I will say that 98 million, is a, that's a lot of money for a house. That's far more money than I think anyone should be spending on a house. But we'll, uh, we'll keep it on the list. Because remember, GQ are buying me these things. Right? <laughs> Private island in Key Largo, Florida. Price upon request. So you know this place is absolutely ridiculously expensive. 10 bed, 11 bath, 26 acres, 10 minute helicopter to South Beach, self-sufficient with water, electricity, etc. I don't like helicopters, I'm scared of them, so I'm gonna have to take that part of it off the list. It's gonna have to be a boat ride for me. The next one is a ranch in Colorado. I like the idea of that. It's a cool $60 million. 5,908.4 acres, so slightly bigger. So I, I don't think I'm gonna buy this ranch. The next one is an English house. I like that. It's $1.1 million. Herbert Road, Kingston upon Thames. That's where I live. Freehold, three, four bedrooms. It says three, four bedrooms. What does that mean? There's a bedroom that could be a bedroom. Wraparound garden. That's a nice feature. Popular and convenient location and it's semi-detached. I mean, it looks really nice inside. Kingston's where I grew up. It's where I live. I love it to bits. Lovely people. It's really good for young people. It's great for schools. There's lots to do. Is this for sale now, this house? I think anyone spending $98 million on a house or $60 million on a house is wasting money. I think 1.1 million is, I think that's a pretty respectable price range in today's world, especially in London. I'd love to buy a house for my granny so she can come and live in Kingston. So it's gonna have to be the English house. Okay, skincare. The Omnilux Contour Face. Now, embarrassingly, I actually have one of these. I use it in the morning in the car ride on the way to work. Does it do anything? Probably not, but it makes me feel good about myself. So, yeah. $395, I didn't buy it. Sony bought it for me. Thank you, Sony. I don't think they know they bought it for me. It just went on a list of expenses. The Trezor Rare Intensive Recovery Japanese Bin Chotan Zumi Mask, $5,000. Wow. Kishu Bin Chotan Charcoal. It's from a tree that has been growing in Japan since 1688. Okay, so this double A mask contains positive ions and excellent age defying and lifting plant extracts for a complete overall skin treatment. $5,000, that's a lot of money for a, for a face mask. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give that a pass. The Benton Snail Bee Mask Pack, $20. Pack of 10 contains snail secretion filtrate which is known to heal the exterior of snails when wounded. It contains bee venom, which is effective in improving skin concerns. Now, one big question is when you extract the bee venom, do you kill the bees? Probably, right? And we need bees. Bees are the most important thing on the planet. So I'm gonna have to say no to the snail shit and bee venom face mask. Moving on. Okay, St. Ives apricot face sheet. I don't need to read anymore. I love these things. I bring them on airplanes because airplanes is where it's really dry and your skin gets dry and it's always the case that wherever you're flying, as soon as you get off the plane, you have to go to work. So I use those to sleep while I'm on an airplane. So I think I'll probably buy loads of those. Of all of the products here, I'd love to try them all, but it's gonna have to be the St. Ives apricot face. So of my imaginary allowance. I have spent $1.1 million, which I actually think is pretty reasonable. You know, I've got a house, I've got some really nice snacks, I've got a rowing machine, I'm taking my brothers to the Champions League final, I've got some face masks, so the flight over to St. Petersburg, we're gonna have really nice moist faces, which is gonna be great for the football final. And, uh, and yeah, I'm really glad that I was quite conservative. I didn't go for the expensive options. I went for the practical options and things that I actually would use. Uh, and I hope you've enjoyed watching me spend my money. Imaginary money.